Hola! Here to do a pick a card reading. Today the question is going to be, why won't they talk to me? Once again, the question is, why won't they talk to me? We will do an extended reading where we will take a deeper dive into the overview. We'll ask, do they think of you? Will they reach out to you? And what's the current block? So keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments down below. Give me that thumbs up, because you too be tripping, tripping. If it doesn't resonate, you got to pick another reading. If that still doesn't resonate, you got to pick another reader. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor and moonwalk away from it, all right? If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all of the information for that is down below. Uh, emergency readings are the only readings that I do over the weekend. Everything else is um, booked during the week and during the time in which I have availability. Currently, I am pushed all the way to the beginning of October. So if you would like to get a reading, get in where you fit in. Um, if you'd like to follow me on social media, Twitter and IG or Twitter and Instagram is the Red Pill Pusher. And on Facebook, I have a Facebook group called the Braveheart Experience. If you'd like to get any kind of rituals, any type of novena candles, which are these back here that you see, uh, for love, protection, money, wealth, anything like that, you can check out the link down below, which is in the description box, okay? And for everything else, there's MasterCard. I'm joking. Huh? So once again, the question is, why won't they talk to me? We have three choices. First choice is going to be protection. Second choice is going to be inner peace. And the third choice is going to be purification. So the three choices before us are protection, inner peace, and purification. On the count of three, we're going to take our deep breath. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be protection? Is it going to be inner peace? Or is it going to be purification? All right. Well. I hope you made your choice because we about to get started up in here. So universe, the people who chose protection, why won't their person talk to them? Please keep these messages as simple as possible. Why won't their person talk to them? Whoa, whoa. First card out is the page of pentacles. Why won't their person talk to them? Second card out is the magician. Why won't their person talk to them? You have the Justice card, two major arcanas. Why won't their person talk to them? Why won't their person talk to them? And you have the Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So for this situation, I'm feeling as though there definitely has been a separation. And the reason the separation has um, occurred is because your person is currently interested in someone else. Your person is looking to begin something and move on with their life with someone else. This could be someone that they have a child with or someone that they're thinking of having a child with, but you're being protected from that situation because as things stabilize, then your person is stabilizing their life, depicted by this Ace of Pentacles here. Um, your person is stabilizing their life or has attempted to stabilize their life with someone else. And so <clears throat> I feel like this situation right here, there's some unfinished business with it. They, they are looking to, I don't know, it, it, there's a pull here because there's definitely a soul connection between them and whoever this other person is. I know a lot of readers on YouTube like to satiate a lot of people by talking about karmics in a very negative sense, but karma, karma is relative. 
And so, I mean, you could very well be dealing with karma or having a karmic relationship and it's just relative to your situation. That doesn't necessarily mean that there's a bunch of negativity happening. We all are bringing lessons to each other and that's what this is about. Um, I do feel this is a soul connection, this other person. I do feel that there's some unfinished business or some karma that needs to be um, like worked through. This could have been someone that they've been divorced from in the past or they're divorcing you. This could also be um, someone that they're looking to get married to in the future. But I do see that they've planted a seed elsewhere and you are really being protected from this situation. <clears throat> currently, currently, yeah. You're definitely being protected from this situation as they are trying to level out their life, like make some sense of things, get some peace, because I feel like this person has been in a lot of different storms, a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion, you know? There are two bolts of lightning striking this tree right here. So I don't think that this is something that they just did on their own. It always takes two to tango. And here in the Braveheart community, we're accountable for our actions. But I just feel like this person was feeling held back to some degree. And I do feel that that's some type of self-inflicted feeling. But this person has decided. And, and they could have very well been juggling up between you and another person. Like weighing their options between you and someone else. And has decided to move on with someone else. But whoever that someone else is. I do feel like it's a mother or father of their child. I feel like a child is involved in this. And one of the reasons that this person has decided to move on with this person is because of that child. That child is very vital in the in in the parents relationship. That child holds a lot of weight in the parents relationship. So I do feel there's a child involved here. Mhm. Mm yeah. But currently that's what I see. I'm going to do an extended read. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We'll ask if they think of you. We will see if they'll reach out to you. And we will also see what their current blocks are. You know, in the extended, things can take a turn very quickly. So uh, we'll see if the business between you and them is, un is finished or if there's unfinished business there. But if you'd like to join me over in the extended, the link is down below. If not, you ain't gotta, but we moving. All right, so people who have chosen... Inner peace, universe. Why won't that person talk to them? Please be as clear as possible. Why won't that person talk to them? You know the brave hearts. We be nosy as shit most days. We just want to know why they won't talk. Why won't they talk to them, universe? Please be as clear as possible. First card out. Queen of Swords. Why won't that person talk to them? Why won't that person talk to them? Ooh, two cards fell out. We have the Eight of Wands. We also have the Hangman. Why won't that person talk to them? Ooh. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Devil card. So, I feel like your person is moving moving physical move spiritual move there's some movement in your person and they are currently going through a time in which they're just holding steady because they do feel bound to something something or someone and this very well could be you but they do feel bound to something and this something i feel like is stagnant i feel like this something isn't moving so it it could be that your relationship is not moving but they feel bound to it very loyal to it, almost loyal to a fault, because I do feel that it's hit some type of toxic moment and there's no, there hasn't been any way to shift from it. I feel like there's been a lot of uh, withhold in this situation. I feel like you all have been holding back. I feel like emotions have not been talked about. I don't feel like there's been a safe place for emotions to have been spoken about. Um, I don't think that you all are very clear on what this situationship is. I don't think, 
either of you are clear with what the other person wants. I think there's a lot of chaos and confusion. Um, and I think that, that the emotional aspect of things has been avoided. And, and, and I think that's been okay up until now, but now it's like, there needs to be a next step. There needs to be a next phase. You all need to break through into a new paradigm and without knowing the specifics or knowing how someone feels or knowing where you stand, it's very difficult to move because if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. So I do feel that your person is thinking about this move, but because there are toxicities and the toxicities I really feel derive from holding back the withhold because love knows no nothing about withholding, right? So if you're withholding, that's out of fear. And so, you know, you have two people here who are not, who are holding back, who are not willing to face the music, who are not willing to put in the work. And, and I feel like this is on both ends. And so there, you guys are at a stalemate right now. And you very well could find yourself in a position where it's like, what do we do? Do I, both of you thinking, do I move on with this person or do I move on alone? Mm hmm. This situation ship has like really come to a crossroads and it's time. It's time to put up or shut up. It's time to put in the work and evolve or it's time to let this go. But even if you let this go, this lesson that is coming to you all of shedding, of unfolding, of developing, of allowing someone in is still going to make its way to you. You're not going to stop that. You just will change the vessel. So meaning this same lesson is going to continue to come to both of you all just in a different form. Because this lesson of moving, you know, there's a time to think and there's a time to act. And I think that because there's so much fear on in this situation, it's really kept you paralyzed. I feel like this entire situation has been paralyzed in fear and it's time to act now. And there's been so much damage, damage done by trying to keep this small and keep yourselves small that you don't know if it's repairable or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're just in a place of trying to obtain a new perspective, trying to, trying to see into this, trying to see more, trying to figure out which way to go. I actually feel like you both are. There's love here, but it's just, it, it's, it's overshadowed by fear, quite honestly. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do an extended. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We'll ask if they think of you. We'll ask if they'll reach out to you and we'll ask what the current block is. Keep in mind in the extended, things change real quick. So you never know how this is going to play out, but if you'd like to join me, the link is down below. If not, you ain't gotta. We are moving. So universe, people who chose reading number three, purification. Why won't their person talk to them? Why won't their person talk to them, universe? Please keep these messages as simple as possible. Why won't their person talk to them? Why won't their person talk to them? Whoa, why won't that person talk to them? First card out, seven of swords. Why won't that person talk to them? Why won't that person talk to them? Why won't that person talk to them? You have the judgment card. Why won't that person talk to them? Ten of Cups. Why won't the person talk to them? Why won't their person talk to them? One more card, universe. Thank you. No, just one, not five. Why won't that person talk to them? Seven of Cups. Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups. Two sevens, bottom of the deck, King of Cups. 
your person is going through a rites of passage. <clears throat> this situationship has hit a rocky patch. Um, I do feel there are some secrets. I do feel that there are some things that are being held back now and a lot of confusion, not knowing what to fill these cups up with or if they even want to continue on with this relationship. Mm hmm. Definitely some secrets, definitely someone holding something back, um, not not being truthful with what they're doing with their time, what they're doing when they're away from the situation. Um, and I feel like it's wreaked havoc on this this unit, this family unit. I feel like children could be involved here, but um, I mean, you got the Ten of Cups in the rain. You have the Sunflower in the rain here. You have the Seven of Cups in the clouds. I mean, it's it's a lot of fuzziness here, and it's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes that neither, like nobody knows the full story. Everybody has bits and pieces of what the truth is, and no one is putting the puzzle together to make sense of this. And so this King of Cups here is in a rites of passage right now. And I do feel that they they feel inferior to you for whatever reason. It could be, you know, fear of love. It could be fear of vulnerability. Um, it, it's something to do with their emotions that they're afraid of. Something to do with their emotions that's keeping them... Um, and it very well could be that they need to remove a mask because this is a rite of passage because this King of Cups hasn't accepted his cup yet. He's just sitting there thinking, should they take the cup? And I feel like one person is, is putting a lot of energy into the situation to keep it afloat, whereas the other person is not. So there's an imbalance in the give and take of it all as well. But there's definitely someone holding back and the secret could be that they're holding back their emotions they're holding back the fact that they they do care about you but don't know what to fill these cups with holding back like it's something like that i believe that they're holding back on that they're not being very clear with in regards to this situation definitely something in the feelings department, because I mean, we have so many cards here talking about emotions and just needing to be cleansed. Like this, this whole situation ship needs to be saged, right? Like there needs to be a purification of it because I think to an extent, you all are living in the past. People are focused on the past and, and you're trying your best to, to shift, to move on, to, you know, slide up into the future. But something keeps holding you all back in this. Mm -hmm. So your person is really protecting themselves from being seen clearly. The, their vulnerable side, their emotional side, they're protecting them. They don't know what to give to this relationship. They don't know what else to do. They're at their wits end. They really care about you, but they don't know how to move forward. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we'll do an extended read on this. You know, in the extended, it could take a left turn really quick, but we're going to look deeper into this. We will ask, do they think of you? Will they reach out to you? And what the current block is. So if you'd like to join me, the link is down below. If not, you ain't got to. Stay down, y'all. It's a marathon.